Good morning, everyone. This is Russ, and I'm from Sonic Presence, and I'm here to talk to you about spatial audio. That is spatial audio, meaning 360 degrees and overhead, whatever. So, um, you probably read a lot about it in the press. There's headlines all over the place announcing uh, Apple has spatial audio, Dolby's doing spatial audio, Sennheiser's doing spatial audio. So what is the spatial audio all about? Well, when you hear sound naturally, it surrounds you. That's your natural hearing. It's three-dimensional, 360 degrees in both directions and what have you. As soon as you put on headphones, you <laughs> cover your ears, and all of a sudden the sound is trapped inside your head. Instead of being spacious and surrounding you, it collapses and everything is between your left ear and your right ear. So what's with this big announcement about spatial audio? I mean, why is it capturing people's attention? Well, what we're trying to do is to take that compressed stereo image and make it spatial so that it surrounds you. It's, it's not inside your head now, it's outside. I'm gonna play you some sounds. I'm gonna start with, um, let's go over to uh, Columbus Circle here. It's right over here. Um, and there's a beautiful 360 degree fountain over there. Okay, so here we are at the Columbus Circle. These are the uh, fountains that I mentioned earlier and I'm completely surrounded by the fountains, uh, 360 degrees all the way around. There's nothing up except Christopher Columbus up there, but I don't think he's going to come down anytime soon. He's been up there a couple hundred years, so... <laughs> this is our SP-15 spatial microphone, and you can see there's a left and a right sensor. They're on my temples in, in front of my ears. So they capture the spatial effects of sound as it passes around my head. It's very interesting how that works. I'm going to give you a demonstration of that. Here you can hear the ambience. Uh, you can hear how the helicopters flying up the river uh, and, you know, just the whole... Uh, amb it's, it's amazing it's so quiet in the middle of New York City, isn't it? But uh, just wait, the traffic will start and it won't be so quiet anymore. So here comes the traffic and you're gonna start to get this, this immersive sound, particularly with the traffic on my right. But now what I'm gonna show you is the effect of the, the head is if I take these sensors and I slip them off my ears and I bring them forward Look what happens, or listen to what happens to the image. It totally collapses, right? If I do clap, clap, you notice the sound is outside my head. If I, if I was doing a stereo, it's very close up. It's, it's, it's almost like they have cotton in my ears. Spatial audio, it's out here. It's, it, it, it's outside my head. Okay, and if I do it up, it's going to be above my head. A sound wave is coming at you, and it's very analogous to a water wave. If you're standing on a bridge and the wave is coming towards you, as it gets to the support post, it flows around the post. In this particular case, the wave is coming at my head. It flows around my head. And as it does that, it takes on all of these ripple effects uh, due to my nose, uh, my cheeks, uh, eyes, uh, also bounces off of my shoulders. And what have you. It takes on all of these things. It, those are called spatial cues. These are the spatial cues. It's, um, you may not, a lot of these 
you, you can't see where these sounds are coming from, but they're coming from all around. Getting the remnants of a hurricane in a couple hours here. So, uh, anyway, you can see uh, you know, you're getting the crowd from all directions here. Um, so now I thought we'd go over to Governor's Island where it's nice and quiet. Uh, it's, it's an island in the middle of New York Harbor with a fantastic view of the Statue of Liberty. There's always stuff going on over there. Uh, and there's no fan noise like you, what we're hearing here. So in order to get there, we got to take the ferry. Come on, let's go. We'll take the ferry over. Okay, here we are arriving. Uh oh, oh, I think uh, we're, we're headed for the dock. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, nobody was hurt. I guess they expect to do that. So we're back from uh, our little excursion to Governor's Island. So I'm wearing our latest development, which is the SP-15 Blue version. So Mike, what is it that we, uh, we actually do here? Well, we're developing a, a series of microphones uh, that's designed to give the power to creators to make spatial audio on their own terms. You know, Apple and Dolby and all these companies are so focused on the playback of spatial audio, but as of yet, no one's really offered a real simple, easy to use solution to create spatial audio. So this is a, a variation on, on the theme of, that, of the SP-15, uh, being a wireless version. So uh, this, instead of connecting directly to a device, whether it be an Android phone or a computer, we've enabled the SP-15 to now have a wireless link that now, in this case, is being sent over to the, the Mac, but can be sent to a variety of devices. Great, so in the next scene, I'm gonna put these on and I'll be able to walk around, right? Okay, so now it's time for the steak, all right? So we got the fire going here and, uh, you know, it's pretty hot, so, um, Let's, let's just, uh oh, that's good, huh? All right, so <coughs> nice and hot for the, uh, 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 put the grill on here. Actually, we want to make plenty of food. All right, so that's that. Nice ribeye, okay, let's see if you can see that, I'm not sure, okay, all right, okay, great, I don't know where he's going, okay, 
All right, so here's our fake nice ribeye. Throw it on there like that. That is looking pretty good. All right, so why don't we uh, why don't we flip it? Oh, that was... Oh, 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 oh. 